welcome to Waffle Star Games. It is so great to have you here. Today, I have decided to make a tutorial series about creating Java computer games. This is not a tutorial for beginners, but I have some links to learn Java and game creation in the description for The New Boston, an awesome YouTube channel that happens to have programming tutorials. One might wonder, if there are other tutorials, what on earth makes this one special? To answer that question, this is to show you tips and necessary elements of creating a computer game that aren't covered elsewhere. We are going to begin by creating a new class and calling it custom button. Custom button. Alright, so now that we have our custom button, we can, um, it's going to be a subclass of the J button, but first we're going to need to import java.awt import mouse listener we're going to also need to import then of course obviously mouse event and finally import j button uh gee this is irritating oh yeah i'm using netbeans right now so in the comments below please tell me whether you think eclipse is better than netbeans if you've used it Thank you. So, J button. Oh, yeah. Implement. Not implement. Implement. Mouse listener. Now we're going to create some variables. First off, there's dimension, size. This will be the size that your button will always be. Equals new dimension. 250 by 150. I like that size. Boolean hover and Boolean click. Keep track of whether um, keep track of whether you're hovering or clicking the button. And finally, there's string text. So we're going to create a constructor of custom button that takes in the parameter string text. It's basically just going to set visible to true, set focusable to true, set, um, let's do content area um, filled to false first and then we'll set Border painted to false. Set text. And finally, don't forget to add the mouse listener. Um, now we're going to override the dimensions that this can be so that. No matter what, it will always be the dimension size, and it will always be under your control. Isn't it nice that way? You know, when you're a programmer, it's a good thing to keep your, um, your variables under control. Because if you're not in control of the program, the program's in control of itself, and then there are glitches and unwanted bugs. Okay, so we're going to make public void set button text. Don't just say set text because otherwise it will have this weird glitch where it shows two pairs of text. So just say set button text and then do the same thing, get button text, but do not say get text. Same glitch. Oh wait, why did I put in the parameter text when it's just going to return text? Okay, I guess we should add in the mouse events now. So, mouse entered. Hover equals true. Okay, so copy... Just then paste it four times. 
three, four. All right, take the last one. Um, we're gonna make it into mouse clicked, so it's gonna be empty. Here we're gonna have click equals false because it's gonna be mouse the least. Click equals true because it's mouse pressed. And finally, mouse exited. It's going to have hover equal to false. So now we can get into the graphics. Let's see. Public void paint component. Super dot paint component. Oh, I hate where you have that when you have a capital letter and then you accidentally type the next one capital two. Irritating. G dot set color new color zero red fifty green and if hovering over the button two hundred fifty five blue otherwise one hundred eighty. G dot Oh wait, before we do that, we're going to check if clicking, if click, then we are going to set color to color dot white and g dot fill rectangle, zero, zero, 250, 150. Now, here we're going to draw the borders, so G dot fill rectangle. This is going to be the borders for the image. You'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. Zero, zero, 250 wide, seven. G dot fill rectangle. Uh, yeah, zero, 143, 257. G dot fill rect angle zero zero let's see one hundred no just one hundred uh, no seven then one hundred fifty and finally G dot fill rectangle uh, let's see two hundred forty three zero Seven hundred fifty. All right. So we've got our border. Now we're gonna put. There's a space in between the content area and this, so that when you click the mouse, it'll show white in between the border and the content area. The content area is going to be purple. New color. 230 red, 0 green, 230 blue. G dot fill rectangle. And it's just going to be, let's see, 14, 14. And you can check these by the way, but I've already calculated them 222 and 122. And G dot set. Now we're going to, um, by the way, move on to the, the text. So, we're going to draw that in white, g dot, let's see, wait a minute, g dot, what was that I want to do, oh right, g dot set font, font dot decode, empty string, and I'm going to have the font Arial, bold, and it's going to be size 24. And font metrics, metrics equals new, oh, no, sorry, g dot get font metrics, int width equals, let's see, equals, oh, right, right, metrics dot string width. Sometimes I just freeze like that and sit there and I'm not even thinking about what's wrong. And then I just jump back into it. G dot draw string text 
125 say minus it divided by 2 to center and 75 should put it about near the center maybe a little above so now that we have our um, our custom button class if you were making a game you'd be done but we need a way of displaying it so we're gonna um, make a main class here import java dot java x dot swing dot j frame java x dot swing dot j panel we're gonna put it in a j panel to um to keep it nice and safe there Okay, we've got a main method, it's just going to create a new main, so we're going to make the constructor, Let's see, set title to tutorial, um, let's see, set size, to 640 by 480 it's pretty standard and set resizable to false that solves a lot of graphics glitches caused by resizing like I said it's good to know what your variables are and control them so that the program doesn't control itself and get into trouble um, we're gonna say panel dot set color Sorry, set background. Travel.awg.color. Dot dark gray. Um, we're gonna create a custom button. Button equals new. Custom button. Customized. Um, panel. Dot add button and add panel okay finally we're just going to do standard stuff to our j frame like um set default close operation to j frame dot exit on close that basically just says when you hit the x button call system dot exit zero and close the virtual machine and also set location relative to null that centers it puts it in the very absolute middle of the screen finally set visible to true it's um not visible by default so we're gonna go ahead compile compile hurry up net beans hurry up and run main dot java All right, here we go. We've got a nice little button here, and it, you would add um, a function to it the same way you would to a J button. So that's how you make a custom button. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and please subscribe to Waffle Star Games. See you next time. Bye.